Thank you so much for being here. Before we get into this video, I have to say that I'm really, really sorry. I've just finished editing the main body of it and I sound terrible. Not that the audio is bad, but my commentary is bad. You see, I have many months where I can observe an orchid and I'm slowly making my peace that I'm going to lose that orchid. Just so happens I didn't know how badly it would affect me once I was putting these orchids into a garbage bag. And I had everything laid out in my mind, what I was going to talk about. I think somewhere in between having good intentions and reality hit me. My brain hit a bit of a block, so the cadence of my voice was affected and very, very flat and uninviting. And for that reason, I just want to say I am so sorry about that. It was definitely not part of the plan, but it just turned out that way. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope we don't have many more of these videos in future. <laughs> If you have any further questions when it comes to why these orchids ended up in the garbage and I didn't explain it properly throughout the video, please ask your questions in the comments. I can speak much, much clearer and give you a proper and decent detailed reasoning as to why it happened, what happened, because I think my commentary just wasn't up to standard. This is never a good sign. And yes, I do happen to have a song in my head when it comes to this situation. I'm just not entirely convinced I want to sing it because I don't want to get emotional. Now, it's time to say goodbye to some orchids and some of them are a harsh, harsh blow. And I'm so upset by it. So what I'm going to do is start with the one that I am least upset by and I hope that it doesn't offend anybody but let me show them to you and I will talk about why I say what I'm saying right now. I have my utmost favorites and then the ones that I'm okay doing without and the one that I'm least upset about is my Milmiltonia sunset. All right so <laughs> This orchid was bought because everybody kept saying what a beautiful orchid it is and I should get one. Why don't I have one? And yes, I can find them here. And I kept walking by because they didn't really speak to me. And then one day I saw one and it was pretty and I thought, you know what, I'm going to join in. I'm going to jump on. I'm going to get one. I also thought it was going to grow really well for me. I could leave it outside and it started to grow really well. And then I did leave it outside only for the early part of fall where the temperatures hadn't dropped below 14 degrees Celsius. And boom, the leaves that were there that had grown and acclimated while I bought it, <laughs> locally even, they promptly showed me cold damage. And that is also what you see on the bulb right here. And I thought, okay. I'll bring you inside and then it just continued to do okay during the winter and it actually started to grow two new growths. One here and one here. This growth for some reason just collapsed and I can now say is it possible that it collapsed because of my dodgy dark spring? I can't honestly give you that answer because as far as I'm concerned the dark dodgy spring had already passed we were beyond that, past that, and the whole growth just collapsed anyway. So I'm just going to take off some sheaths and have a look and see, because I never really saw any rot. I just saw leaves go meh at a certain period of time. And yeah, well, this is what we've got. Now you can see there's a new growth coming here. So please don't hate me. I'm going to ditch this orchid anyway. She was never ever on the top of my list. I did not let her get to this stage on purpose. It wasn't like, well, I'm going to kill it. You know what? I tried. Uh, no, that's not what was going on. I would have loved to have made sure this orchid was great, happy and doing well. So I put her into pumice because she is a thirsty orchid and has fine roots. And I thought I'd try the media out. It's not the pumice. The pumice wasn't the problem either. It's just the whole orchid is like... Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, this one's going to go. Pumice and all. Because the roots will stick to that pumice. And even though I like to separate my media out, that's not going to happen here. Okay, no. You don't go in there. You're going in here. The next category of... This is hard. This is hard. My Brassocatlia Nani Puakea Dogashima pieces. All right. What is going on here? This orchid arrived in a box with a Fusarium infected Francis Fox. She did okay. She grew quite well, but she didn't bloom for me the first year. The second year she bloomed for me because I put her in high light and oh my goodness, those blooms are gorgeous and I hate this part. I wanted to save her 
I had to repot her and then the repot stress triggered the underlying issue which was the f-bomb for the orchids. Anyway I had a big orchid and I have three pieces and one piece is still in the indoors. I'm still trying to save that but nothing I did help to get these pieces established. Now you're saying, well, they look really crispy, nasty and dry. So, <laughs> excuse me, did you not water them? Yes, I did, as a matter of fact. Treated them, did them justice with humidity and my hob filter and all that business. But they just, you see, once I have a Brassavola or a Brassavola hybrid that is in dire straits and is stressed out and I put it into rescue mode, I just can't seem to make them come through, pull through and survive. These two pieces did not have roots. The other piece I'm trying to save has roots, but oh my goodness, even that one is not looking good. But I'm really upset about this one because of the beautiful white blooms, so pristine, Brassocatlia, love it, and the peppermint fragrance. She has a fresh peppermint fragrance, delicious. So when it comes to ranking of sadness, this is next up and into the garbage bag they go. Now it's going to get really painful. Oh dear, okay, gotta do this. This is my Phalaenopsis Zengmin giraffe. Oh. oh, oh, my baby. Oh, she was growing so well in 2021. And then winter, spring of 2022 happened and I didn't have enough supplemental light for her and it just stayed cold and wet and dark for so many months. This orchid had no chance to recover. Last year she was growing plants upon plants. The base was bushy and big and I had such high hopes for her for 2022. And well, yeah, there was nothing I could do to save her and that's it my giraffe is gone i did look online to see if i could find a replacement i can't buy a replacement at the moment but i just wanted to see if she's around and she wasn't and if she was i wouldn't be going to the nursery where i bought her from so you know there's pride there as well but this is painful 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 if you don't know giraffe is my spirit animal anything giraffe and I'm all over it and on top of that my nickname in Kenya because I'm so tall and was taller than the guys in eighth grade I, my nickname is Twiga and Twiga in Swahili is giraffe so since eighth grade I have been known as Twiga <sighs> yeah this is tough at least I saw the blooms at least there's that. Okay. Now, if I tell you that this one is tough, the next one, they're pretty much on the same level. Let me look at that. My big Angracum leonis. Oh, my heart, my chest. I've, oh, I'm trying to really contain myself here. Composure, Nina, composure. Okay. I had just identified her as being the big one from the Comore Islands and I was so happy that I had them both and the reason being is that she was growing so well. She had so many leaves. I had huge leaves and more and more were growing. She was vigorous and enter winter 2022 when she was losing lower leaves at the base but at the stem and I thought no, 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 please no. It looked yellow. The leaf itself was still great. And then I saw how the roots started to desiccate. And I thought, again, no, please don't, don't, don't. I treated her with dragon's blood right at the base. And then every subsequent leaf that she was losing, more dragon's blood, more dragon's blood. And I stayed away from the spraying around the area anyway, as I do in winter, stayed with water in the dish. And she was losing more and more leaves. And we can have a look at this. This is hurting my chest so much. I suppose when it comes to ranking, yeah. Yeah, look, this one hurts more than the giraffe. It really does. I honestly thought the dragon's blood would deal with it. How on earth she got stem rot? I honestly cannot tell. My, my best guess is I 
may have missed the mark with my misting. I, it's just I've been so careful that, you know, if I said, yeah, I got water down by the stem, I would say, you know, th that's exactly what I say, but I am absolutely baffled by this. And of course, you know, even once, once the light picked up and I could take her outside and take care of her, even with the Sahara water that I w watered her with, I was actually thinking, yeah, I've lost two or three leaves at the base, but she's going to be okay. And I did another dragon's blood application. You guys, sorry for not being in focus. I'm really trying to keep it here. I'm keeping it together. Whew, I still have another Leonis. I still have one more. But this is just, this hurts. I mean, you want to look at the positive side? I've got an orchid top back. But that's not the point. That is not the point. Absolutely gutted. I was so happy. You know, this is the only one that also tried to bloom for me two years in a row and I just couldn't get it to bloom because I didn't have the light levels so you know I was thinking just keep just keep growing I don't mind one day we'll get it together one day I will be able to provide the light that you need to bloom just stay healthy and happy and also I just love the foliage and the structure of these so you know I wasn't upset about the non-blooming okay yeah well that's it so gutted you guys my heart is hurting right now. I've got a real thump in my chest. But here we are. Um, <laughs> what can I say? Thank you for watching. If you've watched this video, I appreciate your time. I'm not happy about the extra shelf space, I can tell you that. Definitely not happy about extra shelf space. These hurt. Well, let me not exaggerate on the Mil Miltonia sunset. I know, I'm outing myself, but ooh. <laughs> Have yourselves a beautiful day, guys. On one condition though, that you please stay safe. Take care, bye.